Welcome to GFC TV and this Isthmian South Central Division match between Guernsey and Chipstead. Two teams occupying adjacent spaces in the league table, so all to play for. I'm Simon Delarue and enjoy the game. Govine with a little header there and Solway picks up the ball. And it's a good run from him. Gets it into the danger zone and it's almost an own goal. It is an own goal. Well, that was all of Ben Solway's making there. He went on to that little flick on header from Govan there. Surged past the defender. He looked as though he was going to cut inside, but surged past him. And then a very dangerous ball, which the defender couldn't cope with. And a ball forward is intended for Woolbridge, but it's well read by Firth. He knocks it out of play. Govan wanting to take the throw very quickly, which he does. And it's straight in there to Woolbridge, who's knocked down. And it is a penalty. That was great quick thinking from Charlton Govine, aided by the ball kid there on the side, quickly given the ball, got the ball forward for Woolbridge to run into the area. So Allen to double Guernsey's advantage. And he does. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Slides it low into the back of the net. And Guernsey have doubled their lead. It's Guernsey 2, Chipstead 0 in the 25th minute. turn here, Guernsey on the attack well, yet again, really good work from Kez Mahon and Govine's away here what can he do, he can score that's what he can do, Charlton Govine puts Guernsey 3-0 up before half time here at Foots Lane well we've seen some slick moves and quick passing from Guernsey already this evening none better than that take a bow Kez Mahon and Charlton Govine made absolutely no mistake Throw for Guernsey, comes to Allen, sends it out to this near side. It's nicely taken back down and uh, it's a great shot there by Rehoy, really testing the keeper. And he's not dead yet, Loring sends it back into the danger and Allen buries it! Oh, well spotted by Loring and emphatically put away by Ross Allen, his second goal of the game and Guernsey's fourth, it's Guernsey four, Chipstead nil! Chipstead break away with the ball here. That's a decent looking ball forward. And the substitute's done well there and they have scored. It's Daniel Berry, the substitute. He got the better of Rehoy running back there. Managed to get the ball with a bit of force on it. Past Addison. Wilson. That's a really dangerous looking through ball into the area. Checks and then scores. Well, that is an excellent goal there by the visitors. That's and Dozid, who's uh, scored a second for Chipstead. A few players uh, going in an advanced position. Dodd tells them to go further. And then he takes a long throw. Defensive header. Loring's there with the shot, and Loring scores! It's 5 2 for Guernsey. And now Matt Loring's got in on the act. Well, that makes this crowd feel a good deal more comfortable. From 4-0 to 4-2, they were getting a bit edgy, but now they're on their feet and applauding Matt Loring. Oh, oh chance for Berry there to take a shot. Doesn't get anything on it, though. And uh, Scott brought down, and that's a penalty. Goodness me. So, penalty then for Chipstead to get a third and it goes in and that's 5-3 to Guernsey. Climbing up the table by three positions, three more points for the Green Lions. It's been a successful night here at Foots Lane. It's Guernsey 5, Chipstead 3.